Hey, Reflector. Oh, hi, Mrs. Reflector. What you got there? <laughs> well, remember when I said I wasn't going to buy any more big telescopes? Uh-huh. Well, I lied. Hmm. <laughs> Behold, the Orion 14-inch go-to Dobsonian telescope. Hi, welcome back to the Reflector channel. You know, if you've watched any of my videos or anything on this channel, you know that I can't turn down a telescope that's in need of some tender, loving care or even restoration. This 14-inch Dobsonian telescope went on sale earlier this week. The owner was asking slightly less than the market price, and that may be because this one had a laundry list of small problems. Now, they aren't huge problems, but they do make this one more or less unusable. So we're going to be attacking each of those in an episode. And in this first episode, we're gonna be tackling the biggest problem in that this is stuck in my vehicle. It is insanely heavy. This whole portion you see here, the bottom of the telescope tube and the base weighs in excess of maybe 130, 140 pounds, something like that. And it's an awkward heavy. It's very, very, very stuck in my car right now. Good news is, Orion used these quick assembly and disassembly screws, which allows this to break down into much more manageable parts. Now, that still doesn't uh, fix the main problem of this is relatively unportable for at least one person. So in this episode, we're going to uh, break it down, get it out of my car, and then we're going to come up with a solution to make this mobile. And that means we're going to put it on wheels of some type. And well, the first order of business is getting it out of here. Wish me luck. Let's go ahead and start assembling this and then we can take a look at uh, what we've got so far. The first step is to take that lower portion of the telescope tube and put it in here. The side trunnions, uh, one of the side rolls on these roller bearings, and the other side goes into this keyway area here. And then there's a bolt that goes into it. There's the bolt. Then we put this bolt in. Okay, so now we're gonna put the upright struts on. Now this is already heavier than the Titanic, but the designers at Orion decided that they were gonna have to add more counterweights to the bottom of the telescope tube itself because they needed this to be uh, properly balanced once they added all the upright struts and the ring at the top of the telescope tube. So they created one and two and three counterweights. Each of these weighs four and a half pounds. They're threaded, they're held on with a bolt, and these will all attach to the bottom of the tube. Be very careful though. Don't cross thread them. And I'll tighten them down with the wrench here in a minute. This is only mildly awkward. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel after this. And of course, the last one. Everything's getting so heavy now. Okay, oh, now we can 
build the rest of this. And now for a word from this video sponsor. Me. It's just me. Please like and subscribe. All right, so here it is from the top. I wanted to show you where the trusses attach. These are pretty solid metal. There's four of them. They're, the trusses are all interchangeable, and they're going to screw in here and here, etc., all the way around. And while we're at it, let's take a look at this mirror. So it does have a layer of dust. Let's see if we can try to blow that dust off. Some of it's coming off. Um, I think in the end, this is probably going to need a good cleaning. And they have instructions for it in the user manual. So I will follow those instructions to a T. But from this point on, we're going to be using this cover so that nothing falls on that mirror. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever actually put it together. It comes with four sets like this. They are these V-shaped double struts. And let's go ahead and start attaching them. It's neat because they have these little keyed things up here that uh, make putting the ring on top pretty straightforward, but we have to attach it at the bottom first. I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose. One down. Two down. All right, the struts are attached. Now we need to put the ring on top. If you can see it, it has these little half moon keys here and they match up with these little half moons right here. At this point, you can decide whether you want the focuser tube to go out that side or this side. And I typically have it come out this side. This is very awkward because I'm terrified of dropping this. And that's could happen. Now I'm going to do this one. Um, you can see there's the gap is weird, so I have to loosen it down here. Just kind of finagle it until I can get this in there. And I'm turning it. There we go. It's threaded. Now I'll tighten it down here again. Tighten these. And just that one. This one should go right in. Okay, well this worked out because the knob, the knob is up here. Oh, I put it on backwards. <laughs> well, <laughs> I put it on completely 180 degrees. Uh, so let's cut to me switching this around. Well, here it is in all of its glory. This is the Orion XX14G GoTo Dobsonian Telescope. And it's all assembled, and you know, as I stand here with this thing, I have to admit it's uh, it's a little bit ridiculous. It's actually so large. I apologize for going to the vertical uh, film format, but that's the only way I could really fit this all into the same frame. Now, this tilts pretty easy, actually. I'm surprised, but I guess they have the counterweights done properly. And it rotates relatively easily. The only problem is I hear kind of an outer round bearing. I know there's some pin bearings down there, uh, so we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, one of the issues right away that I found, though, is a problem of height. So this is the focuser tube, and this is my eyeballs. And or, in order to look through this, i got to stand up on my tippy toes. Now, I know that's probably not going to be a problem, because you're not supposed to use the Dobsonians to look straight up in the sky, right? But that's going to lead, actually, to another problem. And that is that in order to make this mobile, I have to lift it up onto a cart. And that's just going to make the height problem even more pronounced. So I have a design challenge. How do I lift this 
giant beast of a very heavy machine up high enough to get it off the ground to be mobile, but not high enough that I need a ladder to look through it and use it. So that's a design challenge and I'm gonna have to put together some ideas and come up with a solution. Just real quick, let's go over the options for our transport dolly. This is the general layout. Our telescope is already too tall. I don't want to exacerbate that by putting it on top of a tall platform. What I'd like to do is have kind of an underslung platform, sort of like a mechanics creeper. Um, so what we might do is build it like this, where we have these tall wheels that have a section that comes down and holds it. These wheels would be fixed, and these would be castering, and there would be a handle. The big wheels would help it go over mildly rough terrain, or at least, you know, pumps in a sidewalk or something like that. So what are some options that we have? Well, there are pre-made options. I looked at a lot of them. One of them that really caught my eye was this trolley system by Orion. It's meant for the bigger Dobsonians. It's actually really slick, and it's got three leveling screws. It's got the big wheels. It's got the pole handle. It's got everything I was looking for. Uh, there are only two problems with this. One... It's really expensive. It costs more than half the what I paid for the telescope. And second, uh, you can't buy this anymore. So that pretty much eliminates it. Now, in theory, I could go buy some steel tubing and weld it myself and just build it up. But unfortunately, I don't have a welder and that seems like an enormous amount of work. So let's go for something slightly simpler. Let's go with wood. I do have a lot of tools for dealing with wood. This is going to be a similar design. It's going to have these two main boards out of two by sixes and it'll have cross beams hanging down underneath. Uh, they'll either be two by sixes or two by fours. And then we'll have some fixed wheels right here and we'll have some castering wheels here with a little two by two handle that's held on with a hinge. And if I have time, I'll put in some leveling screws. Let's build this reflector cart in one and the two, three. Behold the world's most over-engineered, over-designed, and overweight telescope dolly. Feast your eyes upon this year's Reflactor Telescope Transport Cart. Inspired by the world's strongest crate, this thing is boxy in all the right places. And by right places, I mean every place. This medieval machine refuses to be offended. The length was designed to hold the lower disc of the Orion 14-inch telescope, and the wheel distance was sized to fit existing ramp infrastructure. It features fixed wheels on the front and castering wheels on the back. It has three holes sized to fit the feet on the bottom of the telescope. This way, no matter how flexed the frame might be, it will always maintain three points of contact. The removable handle helps you drag this beast across even the largest parking lots. Lastly, it has two leveling screws. And it only took way too much time and way too much money to build this monstrosity. <laughs> well, now that the telescope is fully mobile, we can address some of the more serious issues in upcoming episodes. First, we're going to have to fix this broken Crayford focuser. Then we're going to have to address the problem that we're having with the azimuth motor. That's the motor that spins it left and right. Third, we're going to have to fix the broken hand controller and then upgrade the firmware on it. And you know, lastly, I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep the Telrad or replace it with a red dot finder. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. Clear skies, everybody. And it only took way, and it only took way too much, and it only took way too much time. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Okay, hold on. And it only took way too... <laughs>
can't turn down a telescope that's in That's amazing. Oh my gosh, they're still here. You know, if you want to watch me rebuild the worst telescope I've ever encountered, well, then go ahead and click on this link over here. Seriously, it's a good one. Give it a try, go over there. Go ahead and click on it, push it. Seriously. Mm. Mm.